McCoy? Red? I've brought Robert Goodman with me. He's the husband of that other victim I told you about. Good. Do you want a good cop, bad cop him? No. Let me handle this one. All right, let's go. I'll watch from outside. I heard you have Robert Goodman here. Yeah. You know, Erica, let the kid handle it with you. This was his case, after all. Plus, Sully can do some good grilling. So you're determined to keep your lazy ass attached to your desk for the whole day? Nah, I think you should go, McCoy. This is your case now. So who do you want, Erica? Come with me, Sully. I want to do this on my own. I'll be right here. All right, Mr. Goodman? I'm only here because of what you showed me. I know. And I wouldn't have brought you here if this wasn't important. Oh, I'm not talking. I'm not comfortable. How can I make you feel better? I'm a little hungry. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. Sully? Erica? The guy isn't cooperating. Any ideas? He was always cooperative with us. But if he got hungry, he would get cranky. I was always fetching him something. <sighs> nice. Now I'm dealing with a three-year-old. Don't complain. Food is easy. Thank you, Jared. Anything you need, Erica. Sully, I need to head out to do something. Wait, what? What about Robert? I'll be back before anyone notices. Trust me on this one. Well, maybe it'll help. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Works every time. I'm not that hungry. Something lighter, maybe. Yeah, good.
You know the other agent? That guy? He was a hell of a lot nicer than you. Always made me feel welcome. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. Sully? Erica? I need some help here. Just wait here. Hey, Mr. Goodman. How are you? Agent Sullivan. How are you doing? Not bad. Not bad. Listen, uh, I'm gonna cut to the chase here. We need your help. I tried to give it to you before, and you never listened. And I'm sorry, Mr. Goodman. I really am. But right now, I need you to talk to Erica. She... she can do what the rest of us couldn't. Trust me when I say that. Just give her a chance, will you? I'll talk to her, Agent Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. Goodman. I wish I could have done more back then. He's all yours. That was... Thank you. So will you help me now, Mr. Goodman? Call me Robert. Thank you. Your wife, Sarah. Beautiful woman. Very kind. She didn't deserve what happened to her. You don't believe she committed suicide? I didn't believe it was possible at the time. There's new information, and... I've spent a long time trying to convince you people she hadn't killed herself. But that was such a long time ago. Sir, I'm a firm believer that it's never too late for justice. We may have made a terrible mistake. Yeah, tell that to Agent Davies and Agent McAdams. Are they listening? Agent, those still are very painful memories to me. I'll help you. But I don't see the point in all of this anymore. Sarah is gone, and that's something that will never change. Did you or your wife have any enemies? Anyone who might have wanted to kill her? You already have all that information in your case files. Do you have any new information or not? Do you know this man? Well, that's horrible. Why are you showing this to me? Trust me, I wouldn't show you if I didn't need to. We found him dead last night. Wait, that's... I do know that man. Do you know his name? Yes, of course, he... Uh, I don't... I don't remember. Anything that you can help with, where do you know him from? Anything? I'm sorry, Agent, I just... I don't remember. Those two don't work together. No, that's not right. I need to figure out all the details before focusing my energies. All right, just like Rose taught me, focus on three things and three things only. All right, I should be able to get into his memories, but first I need to find a way so that he'll let me touch him. What are you doing? Don't touch me. I'm sorry. I need to get him to stay put. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long.
I wonder if I can find Sarah's grave here. Sarah Goodman, here you are. I'm not too sure what I'm expecting to find here. What is this? Could this have belonged to Sarah? <laughs> oh God, she was murdered. Poor woman. This necklace. My lord. I haven't seen that thing in ages. It belonged to my wife. May I? It was an anniversary gift. Where did you find it? I visited her grave. I used to do that, religiously, day after day, and until I just stopped. It's a thing of beauty. Just like she was. Robert, I need you to think back and look for the name of this man in the picture. I'm trying. I'm remembering the last time I met with my wife. He came up in that conversation. I just can't remember well. The details are... Robert, please try to think back to that moment. Have you ever lost someone you love, Agent? Do you want to hold on to the memories for as long as you can? but they dissipate through the years. And then all you're left with are the fragments, small moments. I've tried for too long to hold on to a ghost and it didn't get me anywhere. Now I don't want to remember. Robert, I know exactly what it is to lose someone you love. I lost my brother to a murderer and I know what it is to chase ghosts too. But there is a real chance here that if you're right, if your wife was indeed murdered, we may find this person. So please, help us. It was the last time we met. We were at a train station. I was about to leave on a business trip. Again. Sarah was sad. She didn't want me to go. She hated this town. I can't make anything out of this. My visions are too confused. Maybe I should pay Rose a visit. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long.
Hello, Rose. Hello, my dear. How are you doing, my dear? How's that case you were asking about last night? I'm having some issues with it. It's something maybe you could help me with? Tell everything to Mama Rose. I'm talking to this man. I need to help him remember something. I can see his memories, somehow. But there are pieces that are missing. Things he can't recall. People sometimes bury details. But you'd be surprised how much they can remember if pointed in the right direction. Like when the sweet smell of a bakery reminds you of Mom's delicious baked goods. Mmm. Right. But how can I figure what will trigger him to remember? But you can do much more than just that. You can see what they think they have forgotten. He's a little twitchy already. If I start telling him this stuff... That is not the way to go about it. You can use your own mind to help them without pronouncing a single word. Think of it as a kind of regression. Regression? How? Is there anything in particular you want to remember, my dear? <sighs> Sometimes I wish I could go back to the time when... when my brother was killed. Oh, my dear. Are you sure this is something you want to do? It can be very damaging to your soul, a thing like that. I went to the cemetery today, and something's been bugging me ever since. I can't put my finger on what, so I'd like to try to remember. As you wish, I will be here to help you. Close your eyes. Go back to that moment, that day. Remember what happened. I can see him, but I can't quite remember. What is fuzzy to you right now? It's silly, but I can't remember the color of his jacket. What else? I don't know if he was calm or angry or sad. I can't remember. I always see him angry at me. Angry at... Try to remember what it really was, not the memory you've painted since. Tell me when you are ready, my dear. I think I got it. Now focus again. Focus on the actual regression and finish that memory you have just manipulated back into what it was. Are you okay? I I'm fine. Cordelia? Who? Someone I met today. She knows you. I stole a flower from her brother's grave. <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. Who does that? What kind of a person forgets to bring flowers to her brother and steals them from another grave? <laughs> calm down, my dear. He was calm, Scotty. He had this expression on his face. He knew he would die. He he had such a calm expression, for my sake. He knew I had failed. But you are still trying, my dear. And he knows that. Wherever he is, he knows that. Hmm.
Agent Reed, what are you doing? Stop messing with my equipment. I was wondering if I could borrow your tape recorder. No, you can't. It'll only be a minute. I said no. Buddy? Yo! I could use your help with Galaga. What do you want me to do? You said your new hobby is to get on Galaga's nerves. Can I see you in action? That would make my day. Wait two minutes and then meet me at the morgue. Ah! Hello, Dr. Cadaver. Anything up? Bulby, what a surprise. I was just thinking about you. My pet cockroach just died, and I wanted you to run an autopsy. Oh, my lord. Please, it's very important. I'm very sentimental about it. Bulby, you should go back to your hole upstairs before I make you part of my job. Uh, I'm sure I could liven things up around here. I'm past counting to ten. That's awesome. It would be awesome if you let me go back to my work. All right, all right, Gally. I'll get out of your hair. Thank you. Oh, my lord. Unbelievable. All right. Plugged in. Ready to go. October 12th, 2008. Recordings of case 342980, Sarah Goodman's death. Mr. Goodman, can you recall the events of the last time you saw your wife? It was last Wednesday. I had to leave again for a business trip. What do you do, Mr. Goodman? I'm the vice president of a goods export company. My job involves a lot of travel. Did your wife approve of your lifestyle? No, Sarah was never happy about it. Especially after we moved to Boston. We lived in a small town in California, but with the promotion, I had to move to the headquarters. Did your wife have any friends or acquaintances? No, Sarah was very lonely. Was she depressed? Where are you going with this? Please answer the question. Yes. Sarah was on antidepressants, but she would have never done this to herself. Mr. Goodman, let's go back to that last meeting with her. Was your wife upset that night? Our anniversary was last Wednesday. She was sad I was going to spend another one away, so we had dinner at our favorite restaurant. But I had to leave from there, so we walked to the closest train station. I looked at my cell phone when I was leaving, and I told her it was our time. <laughs> Inside joke. I handed her a note. The note said... Uh... Damn. What would I need to reenact that time? <laughs> 